Hello, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for people with allergies. This video is specifically for people, for adults, and for children greater than three years old. And when we're talking about adults, I'm specifically talking to people who are not pregnant. I'll create a separate video of recommendations for women who are pregnant with allergy symptoms. So tip number one is just defining what we're talking about. Allergy symptoms can cause, are extremely common in the United States. They're up, they occur in up to 40% of children and 30% of adults. They cause you to have um, a gritty sensation in your eyes, um, itching in your eyes, redness in your eyes. They cause a stuffy nose, an itchy nose. They cause sore throat. They cause sneezing, cough. They can cause post-nasal drip, which is this tickling sensation in the back of your throat and a cough that you get at night. So these symptoms probably sound familiar because this is such a common condition. And there's two main causes. One are seasonal and one is all year round. Seasonal causes include um, trees, pollen that comes from trees, weeds, and grasses. And the year-round causes of allergy symptoms are dust mites, cockroaches, animal dander, fungus, and molds. Tip number two is identify what your triggers are. So first of all, do, do your symptoms occur year-round or do they occur just in the spring or fall? And then furthermore, when you're identifying your triggers, do your, do your symptoms occur mostly at night do they occur mostly in your house or mostly at your work? So identifying your triggers will help you with the most important thing you can do, which is avoiding your triggers. It's better to avoid the problem, to avoid what's causing the problem than to take a medication or do something to, to after the problem has, after the whatever causes your symptoms has already occurred. Tip number three. For all types of allergies symptoms, from whether it's from um, seasonal allergies or year-round allergies, tip number three is keep clean. Keeping clean attacks and destroys dust, cockroaches, allergens and pollens that are on your clothes and skin, and also avoiding pets, unfortunately is part of this tip number three. So to keep everything clean, wash all surfaces, and this includes floors and all bedding that you sleep with, including sheets and pillowcases, every week. You should use hot water or a hot dryer setting. This will kill dust mites. It will also take out pollen that might have come in through the window or on your body and be in your bedding. Because you spend so much time in your bed as part of the day, as part of your 24 hours, as part of the 24 hour day, it's important to address specifically your, your sleep environment. Next tip in terms of keeping clean is encasing your mattress in an allergen impermeable cover. This too will help with dust mites and will make your mattress easier to clean. You can buy this online. I've seen it on Amazon.com for about $25. A further tip in keeping clean is, is um, just to, keep, to wash all surfaces in your house, like I said, but then to remove from your house anything that you can't wash with a sponge. So for instance, if you have carpeting, it's really pre preferable that you take that carpeting out. And if you can't take it out, that you vacuum with a HEPA filter weekly. If you have floors, that you wash those floors every day. And if you have upholstered furniture, it's preferable that you get rid of that too. Everything you have in your house should be washable with a sponge to, to, to be able to remove dust um, and other allergens. Drapes are another thing that, that should be removed. So, as I said, if you do own a, a um, carpet, it's, it's a great idea to use a, 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 a vacuum with a HEPA filter if you must keep the carpets, though, preferable, though it is preferable to get rid of carpets. 
in your sink and your kitchen, you should make sure you don't keep dirty dishes lying around in the sink. And all trash and all food should be kept in closed containers. If you do notice that you have mice or cockroaches, you should call your exterminator immediately. This, an important part of this is plugging all holes that lead into your house to avoid rodent ma manifestations. And if you have water leaks, to fix water leaks, as cockroaches like watery environments. And, and lastly, as I had suggested before, it is important if you identify that inside your house is a problem for you, that you consider um, getting rid of your pet or keeping your pet outside of the house. Tip number four is a bedtime shower. A bedtime shower is a great, inexpensive, and effective way of removing allergens from your environment. Allergens will accumulate on your body, on your skin, on your nails during the day. Taking a shower at night will prevent you going to bed with all those allergens and, and breathing them in for the entire time you're asleep. Tip number five is a neti pot. A shower can't really get inside your nasal passages, but using a neti pot, which is just a generic name for anything, for a container that you can purchase from a drugstore that is used to wash the inside of your nasal passages with salt water, is a very effective way of, 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 um, of cleaning your nasal passages if you have allergy symptoms. So you basically, it's recommended about once a, a day, warm water and soap, put warm water and soap in the neti pot, and you basically pour the, the warm water and salt into one nostril and it comes out the other. This cleans all your nasal passages. It's extremely effective, it's low cost, and if you end up getting prescribed the medication that goes in your nose, it's really important actually to use the neti pot before you use your medication because it cleans up your nasal passages so that the medication can work directly on your mucosa. Tip number six is buying a HEPA air filter. So I don't recommend this if you have already tried the steps before and you have effective control of your allergy symptoms. But for people who have tried these lower cost options and they're still having problems, a HEPA air filter, and preferably, preferably this is a filter that goes in your bedroom where you typically will spend more, most of the time in your house, is a very effective way of removing allergens from the air. I've purchased one on Amazon for about $160 and the only cost is replacing the filter which is about $5 every couple, four to $5 every couple of months. But when you see what comes out in that filter, you will appreciate how effective these filters can be. Tip number seven is to use air conditioning. So if you are particularly affected by seasonal allergies, meaning pollen from trees, weeds, and grasses, one effective thing you can do is close all the windows and use air conditioning. This will filter out all of the, allerg all of the pollen in the air so that you can breathe well during the day. If you realize that your symptoms are particularly bad when you're walking to work, you could wear a face mask during these particularly bad times. And if they're particularly bad in your work environment, maybe because of some kind of exposures that are going on there, like you work in a factory and there's a lot of dust, or you work in a, a place where there's, um, they're making something that causes a lot of small particles to be in the air, you can ask your employer about a mask that should be provided for you if you're feeling symptoms because of the air in your workplace. So tip number eight are antihistamines. So these are over the counter and there's two types. There's first generation and second generation. Second generation are more effective because they don't cause you to be sleepy. And my favorite generic form is loratadine. 10 milligrams, or the brand name is Claritin. This is a second generation antihistamine that actually has been shown to not be, cause you to be sleepy. Whereas other second generation antihistamines, such as Cetirizine or Zyrtec, in about 10% of the population actually cause drowsiness. 
So I recommend loratadine as the best choice for an antihistamine. An antihistamine is a pill you take once a day and it effectively prevents your body's response to allergies. So it is by far and away better to prevent your exposure to allergies than to treat your body once you are exposed to allergies. But if you, it's not always practicable to be able to remove all the allergens in your environment. And if this is the case, you've tried all of these lifestyle changes and you still are having problems, then an antihistamine that you take daily is a really effective option for getting control of your symptoms. So there's, you can take it by mouth and that will be helpful if you have a nose, itchy or runny nose or, or, um, or mouth. You can also purchase eye drops if you have particularly itchy eyes. The brand name that I would recommend, or not the brand name, but the generic name is E-M-E-D-A-S-T-I-N-E. This is the least expensive of the antihistamine eye drops. Eye drops are recommended one drop in each eye twice a day. All of the eye drops, all of the, all of the um, generic names for these antihistamine eye drops lend an, end in E. So you have emidastine, you have epinastine, and you have ezelastine. Those are other um, types of antihistamines for the eyes, but those were more expensive when I looked them up. So I do recommend you, you start by trying an emidastine first. If you have itchiness of your eyes that has not improved after you've made lifestyle changes and taken an oral antihistamine. So if your problem persists beyond all the measures we just described, I recommend you see your doctor. Importantly, um, you may need to be referred to a specialist, but also your doctor can prescribe you a steroid nasal spray. Steroid nasal sprays are the number one most effective medical treatment for allergy symptoms, but they do require a prescription. The brand name that, or the, the, the one that I recommend is called um, fluticasone. The brand name is Flonase. The reason I recommend this one is it's a third generation Glucoc inhaled glucocorticoid and it actually has been shown and it's actually generic as opposed to Nasonex or Mometazone which is not generic. So I prefer that you have an option that's less expensive. So Flonase is the one I recommend. You use two sprays in each nostril once a day and that's when you're having like your worst symptoms. Then you can move on to just doing it um, one spray in each nostril every day for long-term treatment. So there's specific steps that's recommended you, that you take before you use an inhaled an intranasal corticosteroid. First of all, it's a good idea to use it at night because that tends to be when your swelling is worse. And First, I'd bl you should blow your nose to get out any mucus that will prevent the medication from working. You should shake the can well or the bottle well, close one nostril, and put the, um, the nozzle into your other nostril. Aim it away from your septum, so aim it that way. And as you're taking a deep breath in, with your head tilted slightly forward, You'll, put, you'll um, spray the solution into your nose and then you'll breathe out of your mouth. It will take a couple of hours for this to work, but it is, as I said, the number one most effective treatment for um, al allergic rhinitis or allergy symptoms. So I've covered a bunch of tips. The majority of the tips are how you can prevent your exposure to allergens. I recommended two medications, the oral antihistamines, which you can buy over the counter, as well as the eye drops antihistamines you can buy over the counter, and then the nasal spray that you need to get from your doctor. There are very effective ways for you to treat your asthma, and I hope these tips have been helpful. And last of all, tip number 10 is believe in yourself. As I said, there are 
many effective options for treating allergy symptoms. And that's why I created this video, to put the knowledge in your hands. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.